Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. On the last episode, we uh, continued with the case, the, the court case of Trial 4. Uh, case 4. <laughs> so, um, we found out that Lada took the stand, and she testified that she saw the people in the lake, and the judge almost ruled on that, but luckily we managed to get a chance to cross-examine. So, so far we have yet to find anything helpful. But we do kind of find out that Von Karma's trying to hide something. So we're trying to find anything that we could possibly use to help us. But so far, nothing is working. So. So we we just did this one. We're on we're on this one right now. We're gonna continue pressing everything pretty much. So let's press this right now. Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. That sounds pretty sure. <laughs> Do you even know what a country girl's like? So let's press further, because we need to. How come you're so sure? Oh, sure. Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you. Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. Uh. No need for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, uh, that's what I'm... Sustained. Uh, yes, of course. Oh, great. Enough! Oh, here we go. Hmm. I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you are unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth noting. B but Your Honor! You keep your promise. Mr. Wright! I am afraid I will have to penalize any further outbursts. Uh, bursts. By holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh, uh-huh. Nick? A lot of testimony is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I, I know what you mean. But if I can't say anything, what can I do? I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, please take the stand. Wh who was that? It, it was me. M Maya. Is something wrong? D do you need to use the facilities? <laughs> what? No, I do not! Lotta Heart! Your testimony stinks! It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake! It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Andworth! Tell us the truth! This is a matter of life or death! Lotta! <laughs> Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down! The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst! Answer me, Lotta! What's the big idea, treating me like some kind of criminal? I saw him, I swear it, I saw Edgeworth. Enough! Judge, declare the defense in contempt of court. Uh, yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard, escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. 
He is in contempt of court and must leave. No. No! Oh, balls. I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor! Nick is innocent! Huh. What's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wrong or right? <laughs> Just like we have been doing, every single time we have this option, one of them will pretty much lead to the end of the case. So, wrong. Wrong! What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony, and I have a right to cross-examine her again. Order! 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 <laughs> How many times are you going to say order, Judge? You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. I'm sorry, Mr. Rod Karma, but I cannot. What? Miss Lodahart has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her again. But, but he is in contempt of court. No, I am. If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. Hmm. Very well. <laughs> Judge, Judge is like, okay, we'll arrest her then. Maya Faye. You will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick. I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. M Maya. Peh, I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. I'm running a lot of time. I better find a contradiction in here or else. Yeah, that was a close call there. Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. So, that last statement. I saw it clear as day. The man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. That's it? Uh-oh. I don't know if I can find anything in that. What will Maya say? So, this is the only... This is the only testimony we have. Uh, we need to find something in this. So, uh... Actually, we can do something about this. Because it says, I saw it clear as day. The man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. How could she see it clear as day if there was fog everywhere? This is what she would have seen. Can either of those be told? <laughs> Did either of those look like Edgeworth? So. Objection. Got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. You what? You got what? Look at this photograph. <laughs> Every time I do it makes me laugh. Oh god, why we're saying Nickelback songs? The photo I took. The very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So, so. This picture was taken with a professional, high-quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. Yet you claim to see yet you claim to saw Mr. Edgeworth. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. Wow, I got that wrong three times. How? What? What Mr. Wright has a point! 
That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony. Please. Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart. What? Could you see the defendant that night? Oh, of course. I said I could and I meant I could. Then, please testify to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. So, we got a new witness testimony, how Edgeworth was seen. You're right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grits. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. Hmm. You use binoculars. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one better be good. So, cross-examination time on the next episode. <laughs> we're going to call it an episode here. So, on the next episode, we're going to be continuing on with the cross-examination of Lotta Hart. Luckily, we managed to get... We managed to find a hole, finally! It only cost us Maya. Maya has been arrested. So, on the next episode, we're going to be continuing. Uh, trying to find a hole in this testimony. Hopefully we can, because there has to be. Otherwise, Edgeworth really is guilty. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. Oh, no, there she is. There she is. I just didn't check everywhere, so. Docking Bay D24. That's Miranda is. Okay. Well, let's head over there. And then I think we will head down, down to the docking bay. How long has this episode been? Because there's, there's something that we're still doing. This is, this is supposed to be a story episode today. <laughs> and, well, half it. Half it's supposed to be story. I just wanted to come here so I could talk with Miranda and, and talk with uh, 